We all know how satisfying building a tall tower can be. Today, I'd like to show you a mathematical tower building game that can't be ruined by kids. <laughs> Tumbling towers can be played in three ways. Number one, a giant version to introduce the game to your class and get them thinking out loud. Number two, a pen and paper version. And number three, the online version, which I'll show you now because it's the quickest. I'll share some resources for the physical versions later in this video. Head to games.thinksquare.com.au and then click on the Tumbling Towers button. Once there, we'll select the numbers game to start with, click Start, and what will happen is you'll get dealt two cards. Now in this deck are the numbers zero through to nine, twice each. So once two eights have been used, no more will turn up in this pack. Now what you get to do here is either keep the values the same or switch them. So I can make this number 38 or 83. I'm gonna make 83, and then I need to place it in this three level tower so that the biggest numbers are at the bottom and the smallest at top. If ever the numbers are out of order, I'll fail the level and go back one. So I'm gonna put 83 near the bottom. Hope I don't get a 99. I'm gonna keep this as 61 and put it here. And then 47, we're all good. So the great thing about this game is that it is adaptive. So it means when you pass a level, you'll go and get an extra level. And if you fail, you'll get go backwards. So I have failed before on level two. The nice thing is you can't fail on level one because you can't get one number out of order. So here I'll switch to 98. Uh, it's a pretty obvious choice. 44, I don't get the choice. So sometimes you get unlucky, but now I know there's no more fours coming out in this deck. 57 goes here and hopefully, there we go, I get an 11. So now I'm gonna show you the fractions version. Things get a little bit more crazy with that. So change settings, click the drop down menu to fractions. And now we're playing where the numbers can be proper or improper fractions. So this can be five tenths or one half or 10 fifths. So I'm gonna keep it as one half. I'm gonna put it in the middle. And I'll put one seventh down the bottom here. And then I'll switch this and make this six over two, which is equal to three. And we'll pass that level. Again, this game will adapt based on your ability or your success. It gets a lot more tricky to work out where the fractions belong though. But what I love about this is that it gives students a chance to informally recognize what fractions are. So here you might not work out, you know, a common denominator with something else what you're comparing it with. But here you go, our oh, three sevenths is about a half. So this is less than a half. It's, it's a bit more than a quarter though. So I might put it down here, it's pretty small. Um, five eighths, that's roughly two thirds. Um, some of you might compare to percentages. Others might work out key milestone facts they know. So six eighths is three quarters. And so that's just a little bit less than that. So I might put that here. Um, eight over one, we'll put that right down the bottom. And then six ninths, oh, it's gonna be close. And so we've failed there. And again, you could work out a common denominator for these. Um, or you could say there's three parts missing from here and they're ninths. There's three parts missing from here and they're eighths. Well, eighths are bigger than ninths. So if we're missing three parts, these are bigger parts. And so I love that kids get to estimate. They, they have to make mistakes. There's no way you can play this game and not make mistakes. And I think uh, in a maths classroom, we need to celebrate mistakes and teach kids that, that they're a necessity for growth. Like everything I make, Tumbling Towers is designed for intentional fun. And so when I'm running teacher workshops, I love comparing it to a traditional worksheet. And what teachers say is that Tumbling Towers gets far more work done in far less time. But more importantly, the additional thinking required to consider the probability of where you're putting the things and the chance of success. But there's so many more fascinating questions that come up with this game, and you can explore them as well as the printable giant version and personal version at thinksquare.com.au tumble. Enjoy the game.